Okay, so here's a topic that is due tonight, and there are several students who are ready to do it, and it's called setting up the math for a one-step quantitative problem. All right, so I normally don't work on my iPad, so let's see how this works. Hopefully it can be neat enough. All right, so let's go through and interpret the question. First of all, the average adult heart pumps about 84 milliliters per second, 84 milliliters per second, um, all right, so how are we gonna interpret that? All right, looks like we're gonna, let's make a conversion factor for that. 84 milliliters equals one second, okay? And this is, um, pardon my, my watch here is making a lot of noise. Let's, let's, let's lose that. All right, uh, 84 mils uh, per second of blood, 72 beats per minute. There's another conversion factor. 72 beats equals one minute all right 72 beats per minute okay and suppose you need to calculate how long it would take the average heart to circulate 3100 milliliters of blood all right so that's not a conversion factor that's just a measurement right 3100 milliliters of blood all right so now that we've got that let's go ahead and set our problem up i think red's going to be easier to see Set the math up, but don't do any of it. Okay, got it. So we don't even care about the answer, right? We're just trying to set this thing up. So we need time. So time is going to be in seconds, right? And uh, so let's set up a picket fence. See if I can get a neat line there. It's not very neat, but that's going to be have to do. Okay, so seconds. And so we know that seconds isn't our answer because that's our time. Let's put seconds here as well. I guess it could have been minutes, huh? But let's, let's, um, we know we, we're trying to go to milliliters, right? That's the volume that we're asking about. And this is the one that's got milliliters in it. So let's say seconds. That's what I'm thinking. Now, what is seconds related to right here? What is seconds related to? It's related to milliliters, right? So if, if we know that this many seconds, this many seconds gives us this many milliliters, okay? Then we say that those are related to each other. We'll put the numbers in in just a minute. Seconds is what we want, right? Milliliters is what we have. So we're going to cross off milliliters like that, right? All right, so where's we've got our seconds per milliliter. We've already used that one. Now it's, we need milliliters. And this is the only other uh, term that's got milliliters in it. So that's going to that's gonna be it, right? So now we've, we see that our milliliters cross off and we're left with, we're left with seconds. So this is going to work. We don't need these two uh, conversions over here. Let's go ahead and put our numbers in. I'll put those in in green. The number that goes along with uh, this first one is milliliters. That's going to be 3,100 milliliters. And that's just over one because it's just a measurement. And the milliliters in seconds is one second per 84 milliliters, right? All right, so we're, we're ready to go. Now, Alex doesn't like putting things in upside down, right? So you see, this was this was given to us as 84 milliliters per second, and we had to invert that over here in order to get that in. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that in the denominator, right? So let's make let's make a big fraction here, and the numerator is going to be here, 31, 3100 milliliters right milliliters and the denominator is going to be 84 okay milliliters per second okay and that is the answer okay do you see how I took I originally took these numbers here and this was given to us as 84 mils per second so Alex is going to want you to give that as 84 mils per second so when I set my conversion formula up, it was upside down. So I figured I better put that in the denominator. All right, hope that helps.